The late Philip Basua, who served as the Member of Parliament for Kumbau, passed away on March 27, 2023, resulting in the parliamentary seat being declared vacant by the Speaker of Parliament. The Electoral Commission has scheduled a by-election for May 23, 2023 in the area. As of now, the NPP has selected Enes Yao Enim as its parliamentary candidate through the party's primaries, while Kwesia Mankwa represents the NDC as a candidate for the area. Interestingly, there are two independent candidates in the race who share the name Kwekudia. Kumau has long been plagued by various challenges, including inadequate road infrastructure, limited educational facilities, and insufficient healthcare resources. Over the years, the residents have consistently voiced their concerns, calling on authorities to address the deplorable state of the roads. Following the death of the Member of Parliament, the Minister of Roads and Highways, Kwesia Mwakwata, visited the area and outlined plans for road repairs. No, 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 I mean, no, I mean, by election we will not move our, our, our government, our party to go and start development projects. Procurement will take not less than uh, six to eight weeks to do. So the fact that you have a contract, there's a contractor, uh, and the contract has been signed and all, you know, within these two, two and a half weeks, means that it has been done already. Construction work commenced soon after, progressing steadily. Notably, construction activities have been ongoing even during the night. Seemingly, with the aim of completing a significant portion of the road construction before election day. Although the Ministry of Roads has refuted any connection between the road repairs and the by-election, the Kumo constituents fear that work may come to a halt once the election concludes. Consequently, they are urging the government to maintain the current pace of progress and ensure the timely completion of the project without abandonment.